Today, I will quickly modify my Fox Fork 38 into a little bit more special. And no, I'm not fitting a grip to damper because that is not a quick job. This will only take you at least 5 minutes of your time. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna fit a Fox Fork Fender in a Fox Fart Valve. Yes, the Fox Air Release Technology Valve, also known as the Air Bleed Valve. Before I start today's upload, the Fox 38 upgrade. I would like to apologize for not prioritizing this upload last week. It's just that I covered New Zealand downhill nationals instead and uploaded it straight away. I mean, come on, it's pro level racing. So why not take a shot at it? And it's just right behind my doorstep. So I did what I did. It would be too rude not to. If you guys want to see a peak of New Zealand national downhill racing, I'll put the link in the description down below. Now that the opening drama is out, time to start working. So these are the tools and parts that we will need for this project. Allen keys 5 and 2, socket size 13, grease gun, and a garden twine. 2021 Fox 38 Fender and Fox Air Bleed Valves. As for the specific part codes, I'll put it at the end of this clip. Now that we have the list of parts and tools that we will use for this upgrade, let's get cracking. But then, before I actually start, start, it goes without saying, you need to clean your bike before you do this mod or else it will just not be right, okay? Now, grab your twine and just put the bars this way. Because without the twine, it will just go, it will flop back to place. Alright, now that it's on, you can actually start working. Using your 5mm Allen key, open up the blank bleed valve cover. Grab the fender and open the packaging. There must be black screws included. They are so small so just be mindful. I line up the fender holes against the attachment holes on the fork and secure it with a screw. Now, 50% of the mod is done. Let's keep going. See this? If not for the air bleed valve install, this mod is done. But, we're gonna put some air bleed valve, so this is what we're gonna do next. Grab the grease gun and put a small drop of grease on the threads. Open the packaging of the bleed valve and line them up like this. Now, using the 13mm socket, hand tighten the bleed valve together with the fender. And just like that, the fork modification is done. And as I promise, it's quick and easy. Now, if you like what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you think this has helped you, maybe your other mates might need some help too. Don't forget to share the love, share the knowledge. And guys, we're just less than 100 to 1,000. And please, share the love. I would be happy if I will reach 1,000 before my birthday. Alright, and that ends today's upload, and don't forget, it's sleep ride! This is a 2.8 tire, man, the clearance is so good.